guys, this is Stephanie from Milk Shed, and I just uploaded a pattern on my blog for the Phoebe Cowl, which is what you see here in front of you. Um, and I kind of worried about this. I made some written instructions with photos, but I worried that people would be confused by the smocking technique, which is what you see right here. Um, so I don't really have a good way to film a video like this. I normally film at my computer using the webcam that's built in. Uh, so I'm on my phone. I apologize for that. You might hear dogs, dogs barking in the background, stuff like that. But I just wanted to explain this because it's definitely a lot easier than it seems. And I don't want anybody to not take on the pattern because they're worried that it's going to be too difficult. So let me explain this really quickly. I put some stitch markers down here so you can see where the repeat is of that 12 stitches that I talk about. The different colors don't mean anything, so don't get distracted by that. But the repeat of 12 stitches right here is two knit, two purl, two knit, two purl, two knit, two purl. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. The way that you work it is pretty much just a two by two rib. That means two knit stitches, two purl stitches. So when you um, cast on and you're establishing the pattern, you're really just doing a two by two rib. So then um, the repeat in the rows that I have written is from here to here. This is 24 rows. So the way that we're at it works is you knit 11 rows in two by two rib, and then you do this smocked stitch that I did the tutorial for, and then you do 11 more and you do a smocked stitch. So these stitches are staggered and that creates the overall look that you see here. So when I talk about the smocked stitch being six wide, that just means that it's two, two, and two. So what I'm gonna try and do next is actually do a close up with a little mini swatch to show you exactly how this smocked stitch right here is made. Again, I do not have a good way to do this, but I'm gonna make it happen because <laughs> I would rather um, do a not so great video than not do a video at all. So let's see how this goes. Okay guys, I know this is not ideal at all. I pretty much have my phone propped up on a vase so that we can get an overhead view. I apologize, again, I'm just not set up to do this kind of video. So I made a little swatch for you here. Um, and what we're gonna focus on are these six stitches. Those are the smocked repeat that I told you about. So I'm just gonna knit to that point and I believe the way the pattern reads is to knit to the point of the smock, and then we'll deal with that. So ignore these first two stitches. This was just for my little sample. So let's deal with these six stitches. Again, these stitch markers are just here for the sake of this explanation. You don't need anything like that. So the smocked stitch is one, two, three, four, five, six, two knit, two purl, two knit. And the way that you do this is you wanna insert your needle after the last stitch of that smocked section. So I'm trying to like look past the base to show you guys how to do this. You literally just insert it between these two stitches. Can you see what I'm doing here? So we still have one, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna insert it literally between them, I'm gonna try and pull down. And then you pick up the yarn from the back, pull that through to the front, and you see how it's already gathering them together? And then you loop this onto the back of your, or back onto your needle. And I found this is just a little trick that I actually did better if I pulled this like pretty snug. So that is now gathering those six stitches together to make that smocked motif. I'm just gonna kind of situate this on my needle. And then you take those first two stitches and knit them as one. And then you continue in pattern. So the pattern is gonna be you knit one more. And that's our two knit, two purl, two knit, and then I'm just gonna continue to the end of this little row so you can see. So 
So that's literally all you have to do to create your smocked stitch on your next row. You're just gonna go back to the two by two that you did. So what you're doing is you're creating this loop that pulls these six stitches together. And that is all it is. I hope that is helpful.